All right, so what I've done here is I've basically made a clinometer out of my protractor. I have a straw attached on the origin line, and that is what I'm going to use to look through. I have a string tied, and as you can see, I made the knot down pretty low, so I have enough room to go at pretty extreme angles here. And at the bottom, I just have a weight, which I used a nut that had no threads in it, so it was useless otherwise. So I'm going to use this to measure the angle of an object, and I'm going to take my distance from an object, and I'm going to use trigonometry to find out how tall the object is that I'm measuring. So for my first measurement, I am going to figure out the height of the door directly behind me. From the ground to my eyeballs is 66 inches, and I will add that to the height that I figure out that that door is to get the overall height of the door. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I took my measurement. I got 18 degrees. I was standing 43 and a half inches away from the door. And I need to find out this X right here. And then when I find that out, I will be adding it to the 66 inches of the ground to my eyes. So... The way that we figure this out is we're going to have to use tangent. So tan of 18 degrees equals, now tangent is opposite over adjacent. So x over 43.5 inches. Now we need to get x by itself, so we multiply both sides by 43 and a half. giving us 43 and a half inches times tan of 18 degrees equals x. And when you enter this in your calculator, you want to make sure that your calculator is in degree modes, not radians. So when you enter that in, you will get 14.134 inches equals x. Now, we take our X and we add it to 66. 66 plus 14.134. And that gives us a total height of 80.134 inches. Now let's uh, take the tape measure and see if that's how high it is. Let's see how close we got. All right, so here is the tape measure up against the door and if I can get to focus there we go there's 80 inches just a little above 80 inches so that is pretty accurate all right I'm outside now and I am going to measure from the ground to the top of the rain gutters of the house I set the t measuring tape back far enough to make up for the gap between the wall and the rain gutter so we got that set up and I am going to be standing six feet away or 72 inches and let's set up to do some do a measurement okay so I got my protractor with the straw and the nut attached I am 72 inches away and let's take our measurement Make sure the fingers don't get in the way of the string or the knot. I got a measure of 10, 20, 43 degrees. So let's do the math and see how close we are to the actual height. So since I was standing 72 inches away and I took a degree measurement of 43 degrees, let's use tangent again to figure out the height of the rain gutter off the ground. So again we do tan of 43 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So two. We need to cancel out the 72 on that side. Multiply it to this side. Gives us 72 inches times tan of 43 degrees equals x. And when you enter this into your calculator, you end up with 67.141 inches. Now we take 
the 67.141 inches and we add it to my eyeball height of 66 inches and that gives us a total of 133.141 inches. So the total height from the ground to the rain, top of the rain gutter is 133.141 inches. So that's pretty accurate. I did a rough um, measurement when I was outside and I got, I think it was 132 and a half inches, somewhere around there. And the ground I was standing on wasn't completely level, so that's going to throw off the measurement a little bit. So it's really good for a rough roundabout estimate of a height. So hopefully you can use this information to figure out the height of an object, maybe a tree that you're going to cut down. Want to make sure you got enough room for it to fall. But this is an excellent way to figure out a height of an object. So thank you very much for watching.